Hello and welcome back to Ida's Corner. How are my amazing immigration friends doing? Happy New Year to each one of you. And thank you for supporting my channel and coming back each year to watch my videos. I am grateful to have you guys as my subscribers and my supporters. I pray that this year God will bless each one of you abundantly and give you whatever your heart desires. Now, if this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe. And while you're doing that, turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And to my new and returning subscribers, thank you as always. In today's video, I will discuss the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center. Plus, an important announcement from the National Visa Center regarding waivers for non-immigrant visas. Find out if you need an interview for your non-immigrant visa. Now let's go ahead and get started. Here is the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center. As of December 27, 2022, the National Visa Center stated that they are working on cases that were received from the USCIS on November 3rd, 2022. They are reviewing documents submitted on November 21st, 2022. And lastly, they are responding to inquiries received on December 16th, 2022. To conclude, in terms of working on cases that were received from the USCIS, they are two months behind. Reviewing documents, they are five weeks behind. And lastly, responding back to your inquiries, they are two weeks behind. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an important announcement for non-immigrant visa applicants. Important announcement on waivers of the interview requirement for certain non-immigrant visas. On December 23rd, 2022, the National Visa Center informed the public that the Secretary of State, with the concurrence of the Department of Homeland Security, has extended until December 31st, 2023, previously approved authorities allowing consular officers to waive the in person interview for certain H2 temporary agriculture and non-agriculture workers, applicants, certain students, professors, research scholars, short-term scholars, or specialists, F, M, and academic J visa applicants, and for certain temporary workers who have an individual petition approved by the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, H1, H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q visa applicants who meet certain conditions, including that they are applying for a visa in their country of nationality or residence. Under these authorities, consular officers have discretion to waive the visa interview requirement for certain first-time and renewing H-2 visa applicants and for certain FM and academic J and individual petition base H-1, H-3, H4, 
L, O, P, and Q applicants who were previously issued any type of visa who have never been refused a visa unless such refusal was overcome or waived and have no apparent ineligibility or potential ineligibility or for certain first time F, M, and academic J or individual petition base H2, H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q applicants who are citizens or nationals of a country that participates in the Visa Waiver Program, VWP, provided that they have no apparent ineligibility or potential ineligibility and have previously traveled to the United States using an authorization obtained via the Electronic System for Travel Authorization, ESTA. Applicants renewing a visa in the same classification within 48 months of the prior visa expiration are eligible for interview waiver. This authority is in place until further notice. Consular officers may still require an in-person interview on a case-by-case -case basis, taking into account local conditions. We encourage applicants to check embassy and consulate websites for more detailed information about these developments, as well as current operating status and services. Now, let's go ahead and recap what we just read. Firstly, starting the first time and renewing non-immigrant visa applicants in the F, M, J, H1, H2, H3, H4, L, O, P, and Q visa categories can now have their interview waived only if they never been refused a visa unless such refusal was overcome or waived. Secondly, the applicant must not have no apparent ineligibility or potential ineligibility. Some factors that will make you ineligible include inadequate affidavit of support, criminal convictions, and misrepresentation. The applicant must have previously traveled to the U.S. using Electronic System for Travel Authorization, ESTA. Now, ESTA is an automatic system that determines the eligibility of visitors to travel to the United States under the Visa Waiver Program. Basically, this system collects biographic data information and determines your eligibility by asking certain questions. And based on your answers, it will determine if you are eligible to travel to the U.S. Lastly, you can apply for a waiver within 48 months of prior visa expiration. Okay, so basically, if your visa was expired within the last 48 months, you just come back the years or the months to see if you are eligible. 
Now this is effective until further notice. Waivers are important because it gives the embassy a chance to work on other applications such as immigrant visa applicants and it help cut down the wait time to get an interview date. So the fact that they are waiving certain non-immigrant visa applications, that's a very good thing. Now, I hope this information that I provided in this video was beneficial to you. If you have any questions or you do not know what to do, please reach out to me as soon as possible. You can always schedule a consultation with me. You can send me an email and comment down below. Continue to be prayerful, faithful, and vigilant. And everything will happen in God's timing. Before I go, ensure that you subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Ada's Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.